Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is the fifth episode in this little mini series where we're converting a 125 brake horsepower CR engine TR6 and putting in a lot of the features uh, of the more powerful uh, 150 brake horsepower engine car. So uh, the work's been done, final bit of tuning going on at the moment so this is the episode where we really we reflect and say was it all worth it but before we get to the conclusions let's remember what we've done so the original car is a CR uh, 1975 TR6 with petrol injection. Uh, we've had the engine out, we've re bored the engine out with 20 over pistons, changed all the bearings and what have you, uh, put in a CP standard Triumph camshaft. The metering unit's been refurbished to CP specification. We've got CP throttle bodies on there now and uh, actuating linkage set. Uh, and the engine also had a lightened flywheel. We took two kilos off the flywheel. Engine's been completely rebuilt. The only difference really to a standard engine then, other than we try and fart, is the vernier caliper, to a later caliper? Uh, vernier wheel on the camshaft, cam wheel, uh, to allow me to, to, to set that perfectly to 105 degrees. So the whole lot was put back together again and we fired it up, we've run the camshaft in uh, and, and the initial findings were that it was running like a bit of a dog to be quite honest. Uh, wasn't really running right so a lot of diagnosis later and uh, finally worked out one of the injectors was not opening properly as it should do at around 50 psi so uh, replaced that. Uh, so at that point, with some tuning, balance the carburettors and so on, got it to a point where it runs, it drives, uh, and the, the clear intent of the engine with a slightly more revy cam was definitely clear to see. But it's been my suspicion that the car is not quite fueling right, uh, possibly a mix of the, the mongrel setup that I now have. So... Uh, the car really needed the fuel checking and then adjusting to suit my setup. Uh, the PI unit making that quite difficult because it's really a fit and forget, not adjustable unit like traditional carburettors, making that a bit more difficult. So today, to continue the journey, I've come down to Middle Zoy in the uh, the south of the UK, uh, in the countryside, to see Neil Revington and uh, Revington TR, where they're putting the car on a rolling road in order to, first of all, understand what it's doing, uh, and then to make some adjustments to get the fueling and the uh, timing to the best it can possibly be for my particular setup. First of all, the car's put on the rolling road to see exactly what it's doing. So on first run then, it looks like the car is actually running uh, lean, actually, as it goes through the revs, uh, rather than rich, as I thought. What do I know? Uh, and also the timing is not quite advancing as much, so there's opportunity to advance the timing a little bit more. Uh, that means then that the metering unit has to come apart in order to adjust the fueling settings and therefore get it to the best it can be. Uh, 
This is a process, of course, developed and improved by Neil and the Revington team. Put the car back together then. Now we get the opportunity to put it back on the rolling road and see what impact it's made. So with the settings all changed, car back off the rolling road. Now it's time to take it for the drive home. it like to drive so now with its revised timing timing is set at about 15 degrees after top dead center and metering unit settings that have taken it from very lean too lean to, to now where it should be fueling correctly when cruising in fourth gear at around 60 miles an hour How does it feel? Better. Noticeably better. It pulls off better in first when going into second. You see, you put your foot down less on the throttle, it accelerates cleanly. Into third, again, the acceleration continues. I mean, now I know it's getting more fuel. You can actually tell that it's getting more fuel. So it drives more smoothly. Acceleration still nice, goes through the gears well. It's a bit more of a drivable car now, I think. So was it all worth it? Let's reflect. Well, the engine did need a rebuild. So all of the work that went into that was absolutely necessary and I'm sure will bear fruit and will certainly uh, make the car last as long as my ownership will. Uh, so let's consider the upgrade then, 125 to 150 horsepower. Did I get 150 horsepower? That's the killer question. Well. The car on the rolling road made 77 horsepower at the wheels and the uh, rolling road operator suggested that once the car is bedded down and bedded in we'll probably see just under 150 horsepower does it feel like 150 horsepower car uh yeah it does it's got some pull so uh and it certainly goes round the rev range very very nicely so the car drives better yeah uh so what was the upgrade cost? Well, we've got the metering unit that got replaced, I had to buy a set of throttle bodies, 
to get uh, the underslung mechanism, that's something I wanted. We've had to have the metering unit refurbished, we've had to have the cam changed of course, uh, and we've had to put the car on a rolling road in order to get the fuel setting just right. The reality is that's probably cost somewhere between a thousand and fifteen hundred pounds in in today's money so is it worth it do you know what i don't think it is what have i got for fifteen hundred pounds which is a fantastic holiday with the family you know uh in reality i've got a different driving experience uh one where there's more revs it picks up nicely but I'm not sure if I'd have got that just from the engine rebuild itself. I mean, I'll, I'll never really know. Uh, is it worth spending that kind of money? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'd, if I had my time again, what would I do differently? I think if I knew then what I knew now, I'd have put the old cam back in as part of the engine rebuild. I'd have put the old metering unit back in and I'd have just gone and enjoyed the car. For, for what it was but guess what you can't take your money with you so do the upgrade you want to do get that garage time and go upgrade your tr6 on that note thanks for watching thanks for subscribing see you on the next video where no doubt we'll be changing something else take care